so I cannot believe it's already time for February favorites. February is usually one of my least favorite months, but because of the weather we're having in Montreal, I'm loving it. I don't even know what's happening. It's like plus 13 outside today, which is like spring weather. It's just been, ugh, it's exactly what I needed. I had a hard month, but we're ending it on a good note. I have a lot of new favorites to share with you guys. A skincare product that honestly saved my skin. My skin has never looked better. And just a ton of new stuff that I haven't really talked about yet. The first thing I wanna talk about is my skincare routine. If you guys have been following me throughout December and October and it what felt like forever, I was going through the worst skin of my life. I had such bad chin acne. And now that my hormones are kind of getting more settled, and I feel like that's helping, but I feel like that I now that I have developed a routine for my skin that really works, I feel like that is like really just driving the point home. Chin acne is hormonal, so it makes sense, but now that my hormones are, you know, leveling out, I feel like things will definitely get back to normal. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this cleanser. I have to thank Alexandria Garza for this recommendation. In one of her last lifestyle videos, she was also having issues with her skin. Like around the same time that I was, she was saying how this cleanser had really saved her skin. I thought, hey, I have nothing to lose. It was just a never ending cycle. And if you have acne, it can be really disheartening and you can feel really self-conscious about your skin. Now everyone always says, you can put all the makeup on, but if you don't have a good base, and like it's pointless and it's so true because I would put makeup on but my skin would look so bumpy like a Rice Krispie treat. Alex mentioned this Glytone Acne Self Foaming Cleanser and it has 0.5% um, salicylic acid. That's really good for like acne and stuff but what really sold me on it was what it said like the use of it was for. It says for the treatment of acne, dries and clears acne blemishes and allows skin to heal, penetrates pores to eliminate most acne blemishes, blackheads and whiteheads and helps prevent the development of new blemishes, blackheads and whiteheads. I'll use this at least once a day, at least every night, like after I take off my makeup with my cleansing balm. Basically, this is the most amazing cleanser ever. I had to do some digging to find this because I couldn't find any sites that really sent this to Canada because I live in Canada. Finally, after tons of Googling, I ended up finding a site from Canada that ships within Canada and um, I got this. I am never going back. This comes out as a gel. I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit because I don't wanna waste. And once it hits water, I don't really have water here, but once it hits water, it turns into the most luxurious foam. Oh, you can kind of see it foaming right now. I can't really tell how foamy and like how luxurious it foams up to like from no water. It just penetrates your skin and gets rid of everything. I honestly notice a difference from using this cleanser within the first couple of days. As my nighttime moisturizer, I do use the Sunday Riley Juno. The point of this oil is that it gives obsession worthy radiance and anti-aging benefits with antioxidant, antioxidant rich superfood oils. My friend Megan talked about this in one of her videos and when she recommends something, I trust her. This is expensive. Tony got it for me for Christmas. Um, I only use this at nighttime before bed because in the morning, I think it'd be too heavy for me. But I just take about a pump of this every night and put this on my face, rub it all over, like down my neck, and my skin looks beautiful in the morning. It's not heavy. It doesn't make your skin feel slimy. It doesn't make anything feel, you know, gross or weighed down. Another little skincare favorite I want to talk about this is the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel by uh, Dr. Dennis Gross. And this is just the sample kit because the first, like the full size thing is over $100. I wanted to try this a few times before splurging on the whole box to really see if it made a difference in my skin. Basically what this is, it's a two step peel. The first step to exfoliate and smooth and then the second one is an anti-aging neutralizer. It, you know when you leave a facial and your skin just feels like it can breathe? That's what I feel like these do for me. So I don't use them every day, probably like you're supposed to. I do use them a few times a week and I would recommend them. Now I'm going to talk about some body favorites. So the first thing is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil and the scent I have is Pure Vanilla Bean. I used to suffer from eczema when I was a kid and for some reason it's come back. I don't know what it is. Maybe the weather, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know if eczema is triggered by stress. Um, or what, but I had eczema all over my arms. I even got an eczema patch on my face. So it was really bad at one point, but I was just using the oils and you and hoping for, hoping for the best, really. I've been really loving this on my arms, but this is probably my favorite body butter of all time. It is super moisturizing, super rich. This scent is just 
Oh, it's so good. Like for me, I don't mind the warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works as like a room scent, but I feel like on my body, maybe just with my chemistry, it kind of smell, it starts to smell dirty after a while, like being on me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It honestly just smells like an, like an organic, like fair trade vanilla bean that you just rub on your body and it's it smells amazing. So I don't know if it's like the argan oil or what's in this, but it really helped heal the eczema patches. Now that I'm feeling my arms, like I used to have eczema patches all over, like especially here, I don't have any. So honestly, you look like a Greek glowing goddess once you put that on. Speaking of Greek glowing goddess, I have recently started to self tan again because when I was going through a hard time and whenever I go through a hard time, it's really easy to get down, to get in the dumps, to not want to get ready, to not really even want to shower, or take care of yourself. So for me, when I'm going through like really hard times, it just helps sometimes to feel put together and do things that make you happy. So like I went and got a pedicure, but I also like to self tan because for me, I always feel like I look a little bit better with a tan. But this is the Tanceuticals CC Color and Correct Self Tanning Body Mousse in Dark. They sent this to me in October. I'm not being sponsored. I did reach out to them to let them know I would be filming this video and I asked if there was a coupon code that they could offer for you guys to try it. And they gave me a 15% off coupon. I don't get any commission from this. It's just I wanted to ask since I was gonna be mentioning it. And if you use the code Ali15, you'll get 15% off your entire order. Tanceuticals originally came out with like a cream that I really, really liked. And the reason why I liked it was because it was almost like a glow giver. It wasn't like a Saint Tropez, like ultra dark, like you're going to wake up and you're going to look like a different race. Like it was a really good product that just gave you a glow and made your skin shine in a way. Not shine like greasy, but it just like brought out like your natural color. It was really nice. So when they came out with the mousse, I was super excited because mousses are my favorite types of self tanners. And this, I wish I had a glove to show you, but this, the way this applies is so unique. It comes out as a mousse and then once you start rubbing it in with your glove, it almost turns into like a, not like a cream, but it does, like it just spreads super easily like it's impossible to look blotchy with this product and that's why I love it so um, I get the color dark just because I do tend to get pretty dark naturally when I do when I am in the sun tanning I would highly recommend this just to give yourself a little bit of a glow or a little bit of a confidence boost all year round I have a few makeup favorites that I want to talk about this month and the first one is an expensive product but a product that I have like concluded that for me is well worth it and that is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I first bought this last year, I think around May. I bought it because my sister was like, oh my god, that's amazing and I think Jeffree Star was like, talking all about that and that was before everything when Jeffree Star like hit the fan um, and I was really into his videos <laughs> but I really do love this product and like I said in my haul video as a youtuber I can look back at videos from a few months ago and be like what was I doing differently my makeup looks so good there like I look so much prettier there like what was I using and the only thing that I had really changed was using this and I started using it and my makeup started looking better and I swear my skin started getting better so I guess to complete my skincare routine at nighttime, I'll use the Glytone and then I'll use the Sunday Riley Juno. And in the morning after my shower or after I wash my face, I'll almost use this in place of a moisturizer. I don't know if that's what's recommended, but it does have, you know, shea butter, vitamin C and E. So for me, I use this kind of in place of a daily moisturizer before I do my makeup or even if I'm not doing my makeup, just because it makes my skin feel so nice and it gives it like a nice look and it's not, it doesn't feel heavy. Like it almost feels like your skin can still breathe and I really like that. The next favorites are foundation and concealer related and the first one is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. I just bought this on a whim one day and I have to say I'm wearing it today. I really do like this foundation. Um, the coverage is great. I like to change it up sometimes like between my Armani and between this foundation just because this is a little bit more of a fuller coverage foundation but the way I like to apply this is with a beauty blender as with any other full coverage foundations. I don't like to use a brush with it. I like to kind of blend it out with a beauty blender. It covers up everything, every imperfection, every blemish. It lasts for a really long time. I don't notice it breaking up on my skin. It just really gives a great look to my skin. If you like foundations that are full coverage but don't make you look matte and that you kind of look a little bit glowy but you don't look greasy, I would recommend this one. Next 
two things I want to talk about are concealers. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Now this is probably one of the most hyped up products on YouTube and I wasn't one of those people that was dying to try it. These sort of just fell into my lap. The two colors that I use are light, medium honey, and medium. If you want to see how I use them to get the like best under eye look ever, I'll leave my get ready with me down below. I know a lot of things can be super hyped up on YouTube like Cough Cough, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, but these are not one of them. These are so worth it, and if you can get your hands on them, I strongly recommend you do. The coverage is amazing. I wasn't expecting it to have this sort of coverage. I have like drank the Tarte Shape Tape Kool-Aid. I really have. <laughs> well, the last makeup product that I want to mention is this uh, bronzer by Too Faced. Oh, I just kind of like shaded Too Faced, but Too Faced does have good products, but I just don't like how gimmicky some brands have become. And by that I mean so focused on like PR packages and all stuff like that and not like, not maybe not the PR packages, but just so focused on selling, selling, selling and the products aren't even good. Like that benefit, they're real. Like lip liner and lipstick in one. It was shit, it was so bad. And like the Tarte, not the Tarte, the Too Faced like Sweet Peach, like disaster. No, I feel like these brands just need to focus on like what they do right and what they do well and stop trying to force so much down our throats. So like I said in my haul video, I had heard from a few YouTubers that I watched that the Too Faced Sweet Tea Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer was in Sweet Tea, did I say that? Was very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Light. And the Hourglass powder is like over $60. I've tried it in the past, my sister stole it from me, um, but I really like these as sort of like a finishing powder. This wasn't supposed to be a favorite because I just got it yesterday, even though I love it. It's the, I can't say it, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Butter Bronzer. You, I would do this with like my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, any sort of like matte bronzer. I would like, you know, do all my like little contouring and everything, but I really like this. It's almost like a finishing powder just to dust all over. I don't love the packaging on this. I feel like it's like cardboard, like Someone could poke a hole right through this, but it does give a very similar look. I've been loving this, and I think like for summer, this is gonna be amazing for dusting on your face or on your decollete. I, I just love it. Last face favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I'm not gonna repeat what I said in my haul video, but basically, I haven't used a setting spray in forever. I kind of go on and off with them, but for some reason, I was like, I need to start trying these because I felt like my makeup was just disappearing before my eyes some days, and I have to say that since I started using this again, my makeup has stayed put so much better than it has been. I drench my face in this like before I leave um, because it just makes your makeup really stick. I've tried a bunch of different brands but I always come back to Urban Decay. I feel like it's just the original and it just works the best. My last two beauty related favorites. Um, I guess I'll just do the lipstick of the month. This is Bare Minerals Slay and it's a matte lipstick. I bought this because my friend Megan, again, I listened to her recommendations. <laughs> Finally, one time I was in Sephora and I was like, you know what, let me just try this out. She always raves about them, they must be good. And she was right, they really are great. They have like the staying power of a liquid lipstick, but they don't feel like a liquid lipstick. In my opinion, it feels more like a traditional lipstick, which is what I love because I hated the way liquid lipsticks made me feel. So I have the color Slay, it's what I'm wearing today with Clinique Beige Pop on top, but I can't wait to go back to Sephora and swatch them and look at them and get some more because this is like a really good formula. A fragrance favorite of the month for me is Replica by The Fireplace. I was at the mall with my friend Tristan. We were just spraying and like trying different perfumes and we both smelled this and we looked at each other and we're like, holy shit, like this smells amazing. The best way I can describe it is if you're walking outside and you smell someone burning like a bonfire. Like, at least I really like those, like it reminds me of summers. I don't know how they do it, I don't know how they got this in the bottle, but I think this smells like so universally liked because it smells so nostalgic for so many people. Like my sister loves it and my sister and I both have very different like fragrance tastes, but everyone I know who smells it loves it. And Mike got me a set of three of these replica um, roller balls. Now I just want to show you two clothing favorites that I have. I don't know, these just really make me smile. I was walking through Forever 21, I think I was vlogging, and I just saw these and I felt them because, I don't know, sometimes I feel like at Forever 21, their stuff has like a really weird feel to it, like especially like the pajama pants. These aren't like them. These were so nice. So my mom actually got these for me for Valentine's Day. I just don't feel like they look like Forever 21. I just, I, whenever I wear them, I smile. So I wanted to share them with you. I just washed them, so I was like, let's let's show them. Um, I got 
a size small for reference. Last thing I want to talk about is my L&M sweater. I just brought my sweater today that says Lover. I also have the Kiss My Pat shirt and the Vogue shirt and I just, I love them. Especially the Lover sweater. Like people, like my sister's like, you need to stop wearing that. Like you wear it all the time. It's the most comfortable sweatshirt. I can't wait to get the um, Saint style sweatshirt. The sweater is honestly like the softest sweater I've ever felt and the quality is just amazing. So I love Love this. I just I just thought it was so cute, especially for this time of year when it was Valentine's Day. I just loved it. I know she's coming out with a bunch of new sweaters, so I'm really excited. I have drank the LM tea because now that you have one sweater, like you want them all. They're so comfortable, and you guys know me. I'm like really casual. I'm the type that I really like the whole sporty chic. Well, sorry. I used to call it sporty chic years ago, now it's called athleisure, but I like the whole sporty chic look where it's just like you're wearing cropped leggings, a nice shirt, and running shoes, and are you going to the gym? Are you going to the mall? Like no one knows, and I just love this sweater. I've washed this many, many times. The print is still perfect. I should also talk about my Apple Watch. I get so many questions about my Apple Watch. This band I actually ordered online and believe it or not, you're not gonna believe how much it is. It was under, like it was $20. I got the gold 38 millimeter series one um, Apple Watch because the only difference between series one and series two is that series two is completely waterproof and there's GPS or something. None of those things like were really important to me. And I got gold just because I felt like the black was gonna be like a little bit masculine for me and I wear a lot of like gold and rose gold pieces. I didn't want to get Apple's version of rose gold because in my opinion it's like pink it's not rose gold. To me they're like they're their gold is more rose gold. So I got the gold band, um, as you can see, and it does look, no, I got the, this is called rose gold. This is their rose gold band. I went into the Apple store. I really loved the way the Milanese loop looked. Now it comes with a sports band and I wasn't a fan of the sports band just because it was like really clunky and it wasn't that comfortable for me. I have very small wrists, so it wasn't that comfortable for me. I started looking online for alternatives to the Milanese loop and I ended up finding this one, which is amazing. It was, like I said, under $20 and it's just beautiful quality. And for those of you who are curious about like the magnet, like strength, it is so strong. Like I'm, I'm like using my nail and it's not budging. Like you'd really have, like you have to definitely make an effort to pull it. So um, I prefer this so much more to the sports band that came with it. Um, I just think it looks better on me. I think it's really nice. So <laughs> if you have an Apple Watch, I definitely recommend picking up one of these. I think that pretty much covers it for my February favorites. I know I rambled on and on and on, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.